Hey, yeah. So for years and years, I thought Malcolm in the Middle was about a Catholic family because I misread the synopsis on the TV guide, like describing what would happen in the episode. It would have a little synopsis about what the show is, uh, and it said it was about a, a chaotic family. I misread this as Catholic. And for years, I didn't know why the people who wrote the synopsises for TV things decided it was so crucial for the viewer to know they were a Catholic family. I always thought it was really odd because the show never talked about their Catholicism. Uh, but I misread it. It was about a chaotic family, not a Catholic family, a chaotic family. And I misread it because I'm dyslexic. quite severely dyslexic as well. Um, I love reading, there's kind of a myth about people who are dyslexic don't like to read, that's not true, I've worked in two bookshops now. Um, there's also kind of a myth that they're not very intelligent, which is kind of the opposite really. Um, you, to be diagnosed with dyslexia you generally have to be intelligent, but just your ability to read, write and spell will be below average. Um, but that they compare your ability to read, write and spell against your general knowledge and your general intelligence to determine whether you are just stupid <laughs> or if you do have this condition called dyslexia. When I was at school I was always in the bottom classes and I would find it so frustrating and the stuff they would teach you would just be bollocks, sorry, it would just be rubbish and uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel like I was learning anything and I found school a really frustrating time and the teachers just assumed that I was stupid because my work wasn't very good because it wasn't spelt right and there was lots of grammar mistakes. To determine whether you are dyslexic or not, you have uh, an educational psychologist test you. They do various tests and like I said, they uh, mark your ability to read, write and spell against that of your intelligence. They do this through various tests, observational, reading, writing, arithmetic, general knowledge, various things like that. Uh, basically, uh, there's various categories of dyslexia. It goes from A to F which I always thought was slightly mean. They could have done one, two, three, four and so on, but no, they chose to do letters. I also think it's slightly mean that they made dyslexia such a hard word to spell. I definitely can't spell it now, is it? Uh, dis, D, 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 Y, D, Y, S, L, E, X, I, A. They have dyslexia in different categories. A is not very severe and F is very severe. I'm category E to F. Um, so my dyslexia is pretty bad. But there's various things I do to help it. Um, I have a spell checker. I have a spell checker, which is very useful. It also has a thesaurus. Uh, black writing on white backgrounds is very hard for me to read. Basically, there's too much light on the page. So when something's written on white, there's lots of light shining through the letters and it makes the letter very blurry and very hard for me to focus on by putting um, a coloured sheet of paper in front of, uh, plastic even, in front of the paper uh, it reduces the amount of light on the page and I'm able to read it a lot easier um, I mean there is a lot of help out there for people with dyslexia um, educational psychologist is always the best place to start because you know, then you can be diagnosed Often you'll hear people say, oh, I'm a bit dyslexic, which you can't really be. It's like saying, oh, I'm a bit diabetic or I'm a bit epileptic. You can't be a bit of something. It's a diagnosable condition. It's a condition that you, that someone has to diagnose you with and the educational psychologist, that's their role. Um, anyway, I hope this video has been informing and interesting uh, for anyone who's dyslexic out there. You know, chin up. Uh, some of the brightest people have been dyslexic uh, and dyslexics have achieved lots so yay yay dyslexia